We're now at lesson six, and we're going to talk about equal fractions. This is 6a. Remember, if you've skipped or missed any previous videos, you can just click on the description to catch up, okay? Equivalent means equal. That's all. And different fractions can have the same value. We have a bag of 12 cookies here. Half of this bag of cookies would be six cookies, right? That would be six out of 12. And that would be a half. So six twelfths is the same thing as a half. If this is one full whole bar, then this is half the bar, right? And if the bar is split into 12 pieces and we have six of them, it's the same thing as half. See? So one half is equivalent to six twelfths and vice versa. And we can tell if two fractions are equivalent by finding cross products. We multiply in a crisscross direction. We see if we get the same product. So this numerator 6 gets multiplied to this denominator 2 and it equals a 12. Then this denominator 12 gets multiplied to that numerator 1 and that's a 12. When we have the same numerator and denominator, they have the same product, we know they're equivalent fractions. It's fairly simple. We're going to do several examples, okay? So we're going to see if they're equivalent fractions by using cross products. So we have 2 fifths and 3 eighths. We multiply the 2 to the 8 and get a 16, and the 5 to the 3 and get a 15. So no, they are not equivalent fractions. Let's try it again. We have 1 fourth and 5 twentieths. We multiply the 1 to the denominator 20 and get a 20. We multiply the 4 to the numerator 5 and get a 20. So yes, 1 fourth and 5 twentieths are equivalent fractions because we got the same numerator and denominator when we did the cross products. Let's try another one. We have 3 fourths and 6 eighths. We multiply the 3 to the denominator 8 and get a 24. We multiply the 4 to the 6 and get a 24. Same numerator and denominator. So yes, these are both equivalent fractions because they, we got the same numerator and denominator when we were doing cross products. Let's try another one. We've got 1 eighth and 8 sixty fourths. We multiply the 1 to the 64 and get a 64. We multiply the 8 to the numerator 8 and get a 64. Same numerator and denominator. So yes, these are both equivalent to each other. They represent the same amount. 3 sevenths and 6 tenths. 3 times 10 is 30, 7 times 6 is 42. Nope, it's not the same numerator and denominator, so these are not equivalent fractions. Let's try one more. We have 2 ninths and 6 27ths. 2 times 27 is a 54, and 9 times 6 is a 54. So yes, these both represent the same amount. They might be split up differently, but it's the same amount, and they're equivalent fractions. Okay? So we can have two different fractions that represent the same amount. If we have a candy bar split into three pieces and we have two of them, that's two-thirds. If we split the same size candy bar into six pieces and take four pieces, that was the same amount as the two-thirds. See, this line is the same. And if you look, even the one-third is the same. See? One third would be the same as two six. One two. See? We do the cross products. Two times six is twelve, and three times four is twelve. Same numerator and denominator. They're equivalent. Two thirds and four six are equivalent. Okay? So we are slowly getting ready because we're going to be adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing fractions in lesson seven. And I don't want you to miss any steps. You can still climb the ladder, but boy, it's going to be really hard. People that have all the steps are going to go up very smoothly and easily, and you're going to be pulling and reaching and struggling to get up, okay? So, our next video is reducing fractions. It's going to be 6b. We're going to take a fraction and reduce it to its lowest value, okay? If you need more help and you feel like her, you can click on this video's description and there's going to be links to all these helpful videos. And hopefully you're watching every single video in this GED Map playlist because then you'll have less of a chance of getting lost. And if you're really, really confused, all you have to do is watch the lower grade 
level lit, uh, videos because they might be explained a lot easier, okay? So we'll keep trying, we'll keep going, and there's not a skill focus for this one. There will be after the next video, okay? So let's reduce some fractions, and then we'll be able to do that skill focus, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.